Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how we can create an array of strings. Let's say we will have an array named cars. So we will need a two-dimensional array, so we need two sets of straight brackets, and within the second set of straight brackets we will specify a maximum size for each of these elements. Let's say maybe 10 characters. So a string is already an array of characters. Let's add our first string. Maybe we have a Mustang. So to add a second element, we would separate the next one with a comma. Then we can add another string. Let's say we have a Corvette and then one more. How about a maybe Camaro? Okay, so with all of these different strings, I'm going to surround with a set of curly braces. And here we go, we have an array of strings. It's basically a 2D array of individual characters, except each element is a string. Now, one important difference with an array of strings is that we can't directly change one of the values. Let's say cars at index zero equals a Tesla. And then I'm going to try and run this. So we can't directly assign a new value. One way in which we can do so is to use the string copy function. So if you're going to use the string copy function, include this import, string.h. Okay, so to update one of the values, I will use string copy, pass in my array and an index number, followed by a string. So let's say a Tesla, and this would work. Now to display an array of strings, we can use a for loop. And there's no need for a nested loop. So we will create an index i, set this equal to zero. I would like to continue this as long as i is less than, and we will calculate how many elements are within our array. So we will use the size of operator, pass in our array, divided by one of the elements, size of cars, and maybe the first element of zero, and then increment i by one during each iteration. So then during each iteration, let's display one of these elements using a printf statement. Let's display a string. I'll add a new line after each printf statement. And let's display our array cars at index of i. So this should display Tesla, Corvette, and Camaro in that order. Tesla, Corvette, and a Camaro. So yeah, that's an array of strings. It's really a two-dimensional array of characters, but it involves less steps because each of these strings is already an array. And if you need to update or edit one of the values, you can use the string copy function. So yeah, that's how to work with an array of strings. If you would like a copy of this code, I'll post this to the comment section down below. And well, yeah, that's how to work with an array of strings in C.